Toshiba Device and Storage Corporation E-Learning Basics of Shocky Barrier Diodes Chapter 2 Basics of Shocky Barrier Diodes Basic of Metal Semiconductor Junction Metal Semiconductor Junction In the previous section, we have discussed the diffusion potential across a PN junction. You now understand that the Fermi level is the reference energy level for the PN junction. In the case of a metal semiconductor junction, a metal and a semiconductor are joined together so that their Fermi levels line up with no external bias. Although the Fermi level is used as a reference point for the diffusion potential, barrier potential, of a PN junction, for a metal semiconductor junction the work function is used as a reference point. The characteristics of the metal semiconductor junction depend on whether the work function of the metal is greater or less than that of the semiconductor as described later. These are some terms used here. Electron affinity, generally, the electron affinity of an atom or a molecule is defined as the amount of energy released when an electron is attached to a neutral atom or molecule. The electron affinity of a semiconductor is a difference between the lowest energy level in the conduction band in the vacuum level. The electron affinity of a metal is equal to its work function. Fermi level, the Fermi level is the energy level that has a 50% probability of being occupied by an electron according to the Fermi distribution. Work function, the work function is the amount of energy needed to remove a free electron from a molecule. It is equal to a difference between the Fermi and vacuum levels. Vacuum level, the vacuum level is the energy level of a charged particle, e.g., an electron, when it is in a vacuum with zero kinetic energy. When an n-type semiconductor with the work function of phi n and a metal with the work function of phi m are joined together, the characteristics of the metal semiconductor junction depend on the difference between phi n and phi m. A Schottky junction is formed when phi m is greater than phi n whereas an ohmic junction is formed when phi m is less than phi n. The work function of a semiconductor is the Fermi level minus the vacuum level. Schottky contact, Schottky junction, phi m is greater than phi n. Let the work function of a metal be phi m and that of an n-type semiconductor be phi n. When phi m is greater than phi n, a Schottky junction is formed when the n-type, or p-type, semiconductor is in contact with the metal. The Schottky junction is used to create Schottky barrier diodes. The following shows the band diagram of a Schottky junction formed by an n-type semiconductor and a metal. As electrons move from a higher energy level to a lower energy level, they travel from the conduction band of the semiconductor to that of the metal. As a result, a depletion region extends only into the semiconductor side. As is the case with the PN junction, the Fermi level on the semiconductor side and that on the metal side match. In an equilibrium state, the junction has a diffusion barrier equal to the work function of the metal, phi m, minus that of the n-type semiconductor, phi n. Free electrons are distributed across the n-type semiconductor according to the Fermi distribution. The electrons that cross the barrier of VD flow into the metal. Application of external voltage does not affect the barrier from the metal to the semiconductor, but causes the barrier from the semiconductor to the metal to shift by the applied voltage. This shift in the diffusion barrier causes a change in the current flowing through a Schottky barrier diode. Ohmic contact, ohmic junction, phi m is less than phi n. Let the work function of a metal be phi m and that of an n-type semiconductor be phi n. When phi m is less than phi n, an ohmic junction is formed when the semiconductor is in contact with the metal. Figure shows the band diagram of an ohmic junction formed by an n-type semiconductor and a metal. The ohmic junction has no diffusion barrier. Therefore, application of external voltage causes current to flow regardless of its polarity. Unlike the Schottky junction, the ohmic junction does not exhibit diode-like rectifying properties. For example, the ohmic junction is used for bonding pads on a semiconductor chip to create interconnections with its package. Conductivity modulation. In the previous subsections, we have discussed the PN and metal semiconductor junctions. A PN junction is a bipolar junction because both electrons and holes act as charge carriers whereas a metal semiconductor junction is a unipolar junction, also called a monopolar junction, because either electrons or holes act as charge carriers. To create a PN junction, a lightly doped N-type, or P-type, semiconductor substrate is heavily doped with boron, B, or other P-type dopant using a diffusion, epitaxial growth, or ion implantation process. Therefore, the lightly doped N-type, or P-type, Substrate acts as a series resistor. Note that the conductivity modulation of the PN junction causes its series resistance to decrease. Typical PN junction diodes consist of heavily doped P-type, P+, and N-type, N+, regions on either side of a lightly doped N, N-, region. Diodes with an extremely lightly doped N- region are called pin diodes. 
Typical PN junction diodes have a structure similar to that of pin diodes although I layers of PN junction diodes are more heavily doped. Electrons from a power supply flow into the N- region via the N plus region. To maintain electrical neutrality, holes are injected into the N- region from the P plus region. These electrons and holes recombine and disappear ultimately. Carrier lifetime is defined as the average time required for this recombination. Because both electrons and holes exist in the N- region during this period, it exhibits low resistance as if it were a heavily doped region. The longer the carrier lifetime, the stronger the conductivity modulation effect, yet at the expense of an increase in reverse recovery time, i.e., the time required for a diode to stop conducting. Toshiba provides a type of diodes with a reduced reverse recovery time, i.e., a reduced carrier lifetime, called fast recovery diodes, FRDs. The FRD has a shallower forward voltage, versus, forward current curve, i.e., higher forward resistance, than the typical PN junction diode as shown in figure.